So, I've been seeing this guy. Uh, we've been on two dates, and at the end of the second date, he said, I'm going to call you. That's a direct quote. Um, it's been about three weeks now. Uh, still no call, but it's obviously service related. So, I'm going to give AT&T a call now and get this sorted out because he's probably worried sick. <laughs> Hi, Michael. Uh, my name is Deanna. I seem to be having some trouble with my phone service. Okay. Um, let me just start from the top. I I went on two dates with this guy, and uh, at the end of the second date, he said, I'm going to call you. That's a direct quote. Um, and it's been about a, a month, so I'm pretty sure it is service-related. Um, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on our second date, we went to an Italian restaurant, and uh, he, there were there was a child sitting at the table next to us, and he said, "Oh, look, a child." So you know, we talked about a ch children. Uh, it sounded like it was getting serious. Um. As a guy, yes. what's going on here? I understand that it can definitely be frustrating. Oh, sorry, I thought I got a text from him that was my mom. Um, right. It's uh, me, isn't it? It's me, isn't it? It is me. I don't think it's you at all. I really don't. Uh, my chances would be that there was an issue with the phone or the device. It's the phone. Uh, okay. That is a possibility. All right. That is a possibility. Um, you seem like a very lovely woman. I don't know why anybody wouldn't call you. Oh, so, uh, thank well, you. Well, you um, can I go ahead and get an email address for you that you would like to send that information to? Okay. Um, it is. Forever alone at uh, hotmail.com. Gotcha. Um, 